The thing about the love triangle that I love yeah. is people really were both rooting for both boys, and as was I. I gotta say, I get so excited when I see you on carpets. I like seeing my real friend oh, in real life. Oh, um, how have you been? How's your I've summer been? been? So good. I've been so good. How are you? I miss you. Good. I miss Come you hang too. Out with us. We start back tomorrow. Well, it's so weird because I follow all you guys on social media. Of course, I see the show and the clips, so I feel like I know what's going on in your yeah. lives. Do you get that a lot, where you're just like walking down the street and people just come up and start like talking to you like your best friend? No, I feel like I do that to other people. Like I did that to Emily Osment the other day. I was I was talking to her about her boyfriend. Yes. I guess she's okay. Oh, yeah. God. I think I, people okay. know. I think okay, people I was know. like. Wait. <laughs> and I realized, like, I've never, like, I just took all of that from Instagram, and yes. I probably just made her super uncomfortable. <laughs> but you guys know each other, obviously. Yes, yeah. yes, but I feel like I do that too. It's like, oh my god, how's your family? It's like, I've never met them, I but know. I feel like I know them I via know. Instagram. So I guess that's just a part of our culture now. But that, I think it's cool. You have to be, like, friendly to people. I think that's what makes the world that's, go around. It's right? better. I would prefer everyone be friendly and forthcoming than not. Yeah. I agree. Okay, so huge, huge moment on Baby Daddy just went down. What were the reactions like? Because that's the coolest thing about social media is that the fans get to interact with you yes. on the spot. Um, I, I mean, I think everyone was pretty happy that Riley and Danny finally, after four seasons, figured it out. It's been years. Okay. I know. I know. Thank you for sticking with us. <laughs> and um, yeah, so it ended with Danny proposing. And I mean, the, the thing about the love triangle that I love yeah. is people really were both rooting for both boys, and as was I. You know, so it's fun to see kind of the reaction and who's excited and. And um, I think people were a little upset about the cliffhanger. Always, though. No. It's like, at this point, like, everyone just needs to get used to it. You know? Yeah, but I'm excited because for season five, it's like, there is no love triangle anymore. Like, we've... But is that. there? Well, now it's like, what's going to happen with Danny and Riley? And we've never really had that storyline of them as, like, an official couple. Right. So it's going to be fun to kind of see, like, what happens. And we start back tomorrow, so... I'll, I can't to wait to out. find out. Yeah. What's it like to get proposed to in fake life? Like, have you ever had that before in any of your jobs? Um, no, uh, no. This is my first proposal. Exciting. Yeah, like yeah. practice. Yeah, actually, I've been proposed to once, one other time on Baby Daddy by Matt Tallis, which, <laughs> oh, okay. like, I love my job. Your job is so hard, <laughs> like, Chelsea. It's just, but yeah, it's it's I, it's great. Oh my <laughs> and for more awesome action from the Teen Choice Awards. Click to the left to get the recap on Five Sauce's stellar performance, or click to the right to see our fave girls of Little Mix totally kill it on the TCA stage.